Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Kappa Omega Chapter, Target 3, Building Your Economic Legacy presents Money Mondays. Welcome back. Hey, Ma, can we go to McDonald's? Do you have McDonald's money? This week, we'll be talking about financial literacy for kids. It's our job as parents to teach them the value of money. So let's take a look at a few ways that we can help educate them and set them on a path for a brighter financial future. First, little ones need to know how to recognize coins and dollar bills. Use a simple matching game to teach them how to identify pennies, dimes, quarters, and different bills. Give your child a payday. A simple way of doing this is to give them a job with a payday just like an adult. This teaches your child that regular work such as chores will be rewarded at the end of every week just like a payday for adults. Take a moment to teach your child about opportunity costs. One way to do this is to make them physically hand cash to the cashier so that they realize that they aren't getting it back. If your child has a bank account, allow them to withdraw the money. Or if they have a piggy bank or clear jar at home that they put their allowance in, help them take it out of the jar. This way they can visually see the money leaving and they will have to decide if it's worth spending it and not having it anymore. As your child grows older, it's important to explain the difference between wanting and needing. Knowing how to prioritize between a want and need is essential and necessary to any household's function. We have to teach our children young that money is not finite. It does not grow on a tree in the backyard. One of the best ways to help our children become accustomed to money matters and to understand fiscal responsibility is to let them play games that involve money. This can include Monopoly or any other online game for children to play where they can earn money to then invest, save, or use to purchase items. These games help children understand the basics of money and prepare them for a financially sound future. By this age, most teens have a consumer mindset, but they should also be equating money with work. Start them with a budget and track their spending. Let them assist you with bill paying processes each month. Go more in depth about credit and credit card interest. They should also have bank accounts and understand how they work. Raising financially savvy kids takes some work. But check out resources such as mint.com or kids.gov to find age appropriate resources online. Now that concludes Financial Literacy Month. Come back next week for another episode of Money Mondays. And always remember, we help each other. I guess she does help McDonald's money. Bye.